Okay, hello everybody, happy Tuesday. Um, super, super special guest trainer this evening. We have Dana Pauly with us. Dana is um, a publicist in real life, but in Posh Life, she's only been with us for a month. So she's super, super nervous and Kylie and I are kind of forcing her to do this training for you guys because she is the one who is the expert and she's the one who knows what's up. So much better to have her do it for you guys than us and kind of bust her through that comfort zone a little bit. So I'm super proud of you, buddy, already. Um, if you need anything, just holler. Everybody is muted. I will mute people as they come in as necessary. And you are unmuted. Hi, everybody. I'm Dana. I'm a mom. I'm a wife. But um, I'm going to tell you why I became with Posh, what drew me to it. I was tired of just being a mom and a wife. I was always Logan's mom and Ryan's wife. So I wanted to kind of make a name for myself, which I'm doing in my normal job um, as a publicist. <laughs> this is my first free, this will be my only free day until next Monday as we have a giant event going on. But um, social media has been something I've been helping my husband with for the past year. He is in the public eye. In the past year alone, I have gotten his Twitter following up to almost 15,000 followers. His Facebook fan page is almost 45,000 followers. And his Instagram is 20,000 followers. So my husband is a custom car painter on a reality TV show, which kind of makes it easy. But I have tried to tell him that for him, consistency is key. Um, so this past weekend, I was able to go to a conference where we were helping teach uh, medical sports meds people this about social media. And that was the first thing that bro was brought up. When you are doing something on social media, social media consistency is key. Everybody is on their phone nowadays. We all have our phone when we use the restroom, when we're in our car, when we're going to our friends, while we're at dinner. We are always linked into social media. So. If you're only posting on your social media business page once a week, it's not going to be efficient. It's not going to be effective. So you just want to make sure that you are being very efficient and consistent with it. Let me get my little notes out. Social media can help your brand. It can encourage engagement and traffic and with social media now, which I'm sure you guys all know about the insights and the algorithms, you can look and see when people are viewing your page. Who's viewing your page? Is it men? Is it women? Is it both? What age are they? So you're able to track all of this. So then you can kind of tailor your posts to what you're going to do. Um, the first thing is that consistency is key or king. Is what you're posting fun or interesting? The content needs to be both informational and communicating. You don't want to come off like an info sales. You don't want to be pushy about it, but inform your people and communicate why maybe you like it. Why do you like full moon? Why do you like this body butter? Why do you like those things? What does it do for you? Tell your customers, tell your followers those things. That good content is going to create good customers. You telling your people about it, if you post up what Posh provides for you all the time and you're repeating it and you're repeating it, people are gonna look past it eventually. They're gonna say, oh, this isn't real. Alyssa and Kylie didn't take the time to give me their personal input. Take that time, build that, that input, that trust with your people. Um, things you want to focus on is being unique or exclusive. How do you make people love you more? We all have our own little things about us. Me, I'm a complete spaz. I wanted to vomit before I got on here. I grabbed a beer. <laughs> My son is telling me I don't need a beer. <laughs> but <laughs> I grabbed that beer. Um, remember that you are exclusive. There is not another you. So the way I do something is gonna be the way different than the way Alyssa does it, than Kylie, than Robin, than Kelly. We're all gonna do it in our own way. Make it yours because that is being exclusive. They can't get you from somebody else. 
um, and be entertaining. But when you're being entertaining, make sure that when you look back on that in a week, that you can be proud that you posted it. Are you going to be like, ooh, that was a bad idea? Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I've had those moments. Make sure that it's useful. So while you're being entertaining and you're being authentic and you're being exclusive, make it useful to the people who are following you. There are things that you want to avoid in your um, content. Confidentiality. So if you have not gotten consent from somebody to use their testimony or their pictures, don't use it. Would you want somebody plastering your thighs all over the internet without their permission? No, I wouldn't. So don't use it if you didn't get their permission. You want to give your opinion, but is it something that everybody needs to know about? Is your opinion, like who's your presidential choice? You don't need to talk about that on your business page. Give your opinion about the products. Give your opinion about why you love them and what Posh has done for you, but you don't need to go into things that are not necessary for your business page and that could possibly be damaging. You all know what trolls are. The internet has them all over. When you get a troll on your page, don't engage with them. That's what they're there for. They're there to poke at you, to prod at you, to get you upset and to embarrass you on your page. Don't do it. Don't engage with them. It's like the gremlin. You don't water the gremlins after what, midnight? Don't do it. <laughs> um, yes, those are good tips for personal pages too, which I can't really my kids dying over here. Um, which is something you have to be like, very careful with. I've tried to get my husband to separate his business page and his personal page, but he started out this fan thing with his personal page and now he has 5,000 people on that page and he won't disconnect it. So sometimes he curses on his personal page and then he reshares it on his business page and I try to tell him not to do that because there's an image. We have an image as a business. You know, you don't want to keep your personal this way, business this way. Um, go away, child. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is frequency. How often are you posting on your pages? Suggested for Facebook business pages is once to twice a day. Any more than that, your posts are being lost. Unless you have somebody who's adamant about checking your page, it goes away. Um, so people aren't seeing it. It's not popping up in their timelines as much. So be very cautious, especially on your business page and what you're putting out to your people. Do you want them to see it? Whatever you're putting out there that once or twice a day, make sure that it's quality and worthwhile. For myself, I've noticed on my little page that when I post videos, People are responding and more people are seeing them. When I post just a picture or type it out, I get like three views. But a video, I'm having 200 views and I only have 68 likes on my page. So make what you're posting on Facebook on your business page quality and make it worthwhile. Don't feed your page full of garbage. My husband is notorious of it. You can tell when he runs his page and when I run his page. He is constantly resharing stuff that nobody is doing anything on. But if I take the time and I type something out along with a picture or a video of him, people are engaging. On Twitter, Twitter is a different beast in itself because of how quick the feeds on Twitter refresh. So if you're using Twitter for your business, try posting two to five times a day. Then people are seeing it more. You could even probably do more than that, but you just gotta be careful because again, you don't know how many people they're following, how, how easily are you getting lost in their feed? And with Instagram, Instagram is purely on being consistent. Are you gonna post 10 times a day? People go on Instagram to um, literally look 
for pictures. So they're scrolling and they're on there. I mean, I'm on Instagram all the time and you're looking. So make your Instagram a very consistent thing. Um, I would probably say, unless you have a giant Twitter following, you probably don't want to use it too much for business just because it will probably get lost in people's feeds. But definitely if you can push people towards your Facebook or your Instagram, that's probably more way to utilize it. Um, just because of how quick it all refreshes on Instagram. And I know I follow like a bunch of news channels or if, even if you follow celebrities, they're constantly filling my feed up. So if you're posting something, I may not see it. And you may have something really amazing, but I'm going to miss it because of all these people. Um, I know, I can't remember her name, but she just did the training for Instagram and she was talking about hashtags. I think her name was Jenny. Yes. I got it. <laughs> so Jenny was talking about hashtags. And that was one of the things that we learned is hashtags that are relevant. Don't hashtag taco if it doesn't have anything to do with tacos. Hashtag lotions or hand creams or pampering. Make it relevant. And also, I don't agree with people posting 20 hashtags in a row. Keep it small. Keep it short. And find your key hashtags. Find the things that really mean the most for your picture that you're posting or your post that you're posting. Um, when you have multiple domains, Instagram, Facebook, make sure your same name is on all of those things so people can find you, so people can follow you easier. Another thing is the same color scheme. So on your Instagram, don't have it all pink and black and on your Facebook be green and purple. Like make it all consistent across the board. Same thing with your profile picture. Make sure you're filling in all areas of your profile. Do not ignore comments. That is the biggest thing because ignoring comments could you potentially making a customer upset or feeling unimportant. If you aren't talking to them, they may not buy from you. My husband, I don't answer his questions because I don't paint cars. I have no idea what color paint he used or tape he uses, and I don't really care. That's his job. I just post the damn pictures. <laughs> and lastly, be you. Be yourself. Don't try to be anything else. While imitation is the best flattery, it's not going to get you anything. Be you, because that's what people will fall in love with. So that's all. The end. <laughs> Oh my god, did you die? I want to puke right here. Yes. You did such a good job, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Um, I, wish, I wish you had this. So she totally I, needs to mic drop right now. If you could have just been my... I mean, there were so many opportunities for good mic drops. I'm so, I'm so sad. You can do it for me. I should have done it for you. Um, does anybody have any questions or anything like that? When you're doing hashtags on Instagram, are you typing them out with every single post or have you found any kind of good apps that store your hashtags and um, automatically generate them or anything like that? No, because I, what I do, depending on the picture that I post, I start to type them out and then it'll pop up because I try to use majority of the same ones. But you could go into your notepads on your phone, type them out, copy and paste them. Well, that's smart. That's about my smartest idea today. <laughs> no, that's smart. That's, I mean, yeah, I, it's a quick reference. I like yeah, that. Yeah, that way you have them there, and then when you think of something else that you want to store, you, you just pop it in, in there, and you don't have to lose everything else. Um, how do you Did feel you say about how many times um, to post on Instagram? Do what? Did it's you say out. how many times a day you should post on Instagram? No, with Instagram, 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 just be consistent because your people are following you for a reason. Mm -hmm. So make them continue to follow you for that reason. Don't have them unclick you. So like I've been posting like three pictures a day, but that's just because I just made it yesterday. I'll probably try to do at least five 
because it can get lost in there. But just whatever you're doing, pick that number that you're comfortable with and stick with it. Instagram is so much consistency. And the more you use those hashtags to make it yours, people are going to find you. Like one of my hashtags that I use is Vegas. I have random people now liking my pictures because they've looked for hashtag Vegas. So just be consistent on Instagram. Um, as far as sharing content between like, how to, talk to me about original content in each social media outlet. So here's the, the downfall with sharing um, stuff like say on Facebook, say you see something on the main posh page and you just click share and it's either to your main page or to your business page, it will get lost. Sometimes people won't see it. That's one of those things that it's just like, oh, and drop and it goes away. They, people aren't catching it since Facebook changed their, um, the ways they run. So if you're going to reshare it, write something, write why, give me a reason of why you reshared that. Was it about the product itself? Why do you like it? Um, same thing on Instagram. If you're using that repost app, I don't do it just because I don't like that repost app on Instagram. It, I feel like stuff gets lost right while you're resharing it. I feel like re, if you're resharing it, there's a reason why you want to share it with everybody else. Tell us. When setting up a business page, this is also the um, so Rachel on the business page for Facebook, you can, there's actually a little app that you can download and I think it's called pages. I'll show you. Yep. Yeah, it's that's what I wanted. So it's like a little orange flag and you can set up your business page and just like mine is posh with Dana. I really wish I was smarter and looked because there are several other poshes with Dana, but um, have your friends join you and then also those people that you've sent samples out to Put down your Facebook slash posh in whatever it is, whatever your little URL is, make sure that people are having it and then they're going to join you and it'll grow slowly. I don't have a VIP group yet because to me, I'd rather build my business page and then find those people who are core to me and move them off to a side page. But that's just the way I prefer to do it. Can I add a little note in there too? Absolutely. Um, my Facebook business page is where I direct everything else to. So my Instagram, my Facebook business page is what is set up there, not my VIP page. Same with my YouTube. I've got mm -hmm. the following on Instagram, find me on Facebook, blah, 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 blah. So I'm taking like the random people from the internet who can find me publicly to my public business page instead of my much more personal right. VIP page. Absolutely, so. because... <laughs> Do you have a lung left in there? I mean, <laughs> um, I, I definitely think that that's probably a good thing. Make sure, and then make sure they're all linked somehow. Your business page to your business Instagram, because there is a business Instagram now mm -hmm. that you can set up. And then your business Twitter, if you have a Twitter thing that's just for a posh, use that. Link them all together so people can find you. Real quick. Um, there was like a local business or a person, like, do you remember in your, when you're choosing and setting up your page, mm -hmm. what you chose? For which one? For the business Instagram or business Facebook? Business Facebook. Um, no, but I can get back to you. I can look at it. I'll pull it up and I'll take like pictures of it. But I yeah, there was, I don't know, half a dozen options on, um, what to choose as far as, and I know one of them, and when I first was looking to do it, you had to provide an address and I wasn't going to provide my home address. Oh yeah, no, I don't blame you. And I don't think I have my home address. I'll have to look. I just kind of set it up. The only reason I knew how to do it was because I set up my husband's like last year. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that I didn't put like my home address. I'm not putting that out there for people. That's weird. I don't want people knowing where I live. Oh, yeah. I have mine set for health slash beauty as the category. Yeah, I think that's what mine is too. And as a local business? I think that's what mine is too. 
I don't know. It just says category name username. Well, there's a lot of stuff that I could be putting oh, in. Oh, look at this. There is on your Facebook business page. There are a ton of fields to fill out. A ton. Yeah. They just increased those recently, I think. Ryan sucks because he won't sit down with me and tell me what to put. He doesn't want me to fill it out for him, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, does. I'll have to look, Rachel, and then I'll find you. You're in Padawan, right? Then I'll find it in there and I'll let you know. Oh, Sorry, I'm carrying you around as I clean up children's dinner. <laughs> okay. So I'll find you in there and I'll look and see what I what I did and then I'll message you. Okay, thank you. No problem. Oh, Kelly, get that puppy out of here. There's a puppy? Yes. Yeah, Kelly's killing me this week. He just had a bath and he's shivering. Oh, he's so cool. Well, you can talk to Nick Brown about <laughs> what you're doing to me and my puppy fever. Mr. Ocho Brown? He's cold. Oh God. Um, any other questions, comments, concerns, compliments? Kelly seems to be talking, but I can't hear her. I you did so good. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> That's all. Oh, I did, oh, did amazing. Me. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for shoving so me. You. You're the best. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Makes me want to vomit, girls. Hey, you're welcome. Okay. How, you're done. That's how you're we grow. <laughs> okay thank you everybody for popping on i'm going to stop the recording